Hi, my name is Tanya Evans Chenchuli, and I'm the author of Flick Your Heart Light On, Let Your Fears Be Gone. And I am so honored to have been able to create this project for you and your child with my daughter, Sophia Chenchuli. Hi, my name is Sophia Chinchuli and I worked on the illustrations for this project and I thought it was a very interesting and new way to bring mental health resources to young children. I am mom of two now teenage kids and I actually homeschooled them for almost nine years. I wanted to create this book for you as parents, caregivers, grandparents, aunts and uncles as a beautiful journey for you to take them on in a way for them to discover their deep emotions, thoughts, and feelings. We live in a very fast-paced world where children are constantly being bombarded by social media and other outlets, and it can be very overwhelming for them to navigate their big feelings, whether it's fear or sadness or anger. And let's be honest, at times, as a parent, it's really hard to navigate those feelings as well. So I wanted to create this book as a companion for you to sit with your child or your niece or nephew or your student and go through some exercises that will help them understand exactly what they're feeling and how they can interpret it in their own minds and how they can create peace in their hearts and resiliency in order to carry them through the rest of their preteen and teenage years. I originally wrote this book for a family member who's a parent of a very special young girl who sadly was experiencing some anxiety. Now, because I had already walked my daughter through navigating anxiety when she was younger, I had some tools and things to draw on that I thought if I pass those along, maybe they can experience some relief from what her daughter was going through. So it, it just really came as an inspiration. One day I sat down on the sofa and I started typing away on my iPhone. And before I knew it, I had almost a whole little book written for children specifically on how to deal with anxiety and cope with these deep feelings that they cannot even understand. I also drew on some of the training that I did with HeartMath, the Institute of HeartMath, as well as neuro-linguistic programming, and I'm now completing my master's in counseling psychology. So who's this book for? This book was written specifically for our preteen kids. I would say about ages five to 12, give or take a year, depending on your child. It's a really great first book on learning about your feelings that you can use as a companion with your child. I remember as a young mother laying in bed with my kids at the end of the day, when they're a little more calm and having discussions with them about things that happened during the day, things that maybe they were sad about, things that they were happy about. And I did find some resources that really helped make those conversations a little bit easier. It can be really overwhelming as a parent to know what to say. And it can also be really challenging to create a really safe and non-judgmental atmosphere for our child because of course we want the best for them. So sometimes we can come across as very controlling. We, are, we have our, their best interests in mind, but what I found is that when they're really relaxed and we try to connect with them in a safe, more heartfelt, loving and non-judgmental way, they open up to us a lot easier. As I previously mentioned, even as adults, it can be really challenging to have difficult conversations about really big emotions. So this book will allow you to simply go through one section at a time with your child, start slowly, you can give yourself 10 minutes, read through a section with them, and just simply see what comes up for them. Sometimes we get really overzealous and we want to have this big conversation with our child but trust me even if they say nothing or even if they ask you one question or share one feeling with you these thoughts and exercises and pictures are going to germinate in their heart and soul and their mind and they will eventually start to have more organic conversations with you as the days go by my deep hope is that you use this companion book as a tool to foster and create a really special bond with your child so that as they grow older and they experience even bigger challenges when they get bigger, 
as teenagers and even young adults, they already have that space that they know they can come to and it's safe and it's non-judgmental for them to share anything that's on their mind or their hearts. I would also suggest that you use a small journal for your child throughout the book. Now they can, if they like, write or draw images right into the book, but I always liked to use a journal with my children. I could start by reading them one page or one chapter and then just ask them to sit and write a few lines. What came up for you? What did you feel when you saw that broken hearted monster? Um, even drawing pictures to help interpret their feelings for the younger kids. We all know that when we feel seen, heard and validated, we feel so much better. We feel accepted and we feel love and we feel less alone. And that's what our children wanna be feeling. They want to know that they're normal. They want to know that these big feelings are very normal and that chances are their close friends and even the bullies at school are going through the exact same emotions and feelings that they are. So remember, your child wants to be seen, heard and validated. I'd like to take this final moment to thank you from the bottom of my heart for purchasing this book, whether you're holding it in your hand right now and about to sit down with your child and read it, or whether it's on its way from Amazon. I want to thank you so much for making this purchase an investment in your child's future to grow up with a happy and healthy heart. And just remember that when our children are growing up, learning about having self-love and self-compassion for themselves, they grow up and go out into the world having compassion and love for others. And isn't that what it's all about? There's no one else in this big world who's a better me than me. And I love you because you're special too. There's no one else in this big world who's a better you than you. There's a song inside your heart.